So now welcome to my channel. This is, is Grace Chito and what I do here, I solve technical problems and also provide very important information that we can make you solve for you to have better performance in your technical during examinations. If you are watching my video for the first time, I want to ask you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and put on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified and help me to share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students. And it's very important that you practice this subject because this is a practical subject. So it is very, very good for you to practice so that you can master it and be able to solve any problem that comes away when it comes to technical drawing. So what I just want to do here is to provide answers to uh, technical drawing objective questions for the year 2008. So I'm going to answer 40 questions right now. I will answer 30 questions, which is general question on geometrical drawing and 10 questions on building drawing. So let's go. Now, um, okay. So move to question one that says, that which of the following shows a center line? Which of the following shows a center line? So the answer is option C. Question two says that which of the following shows the curve of interpenetration of two unequal cylinders? The answer is option D. Question three says that how many faces has a solid hexagonal pyramid? So the answer is option D. So we have six hexagonal faces and one hexagon at the base, so making it seven. So the answer is option D, as I said. So we move to question four, that says that, which of the following is the correct pictorial drawing of the bracket shown above? The answer to this question is option A, so is the correct answer to this question. So question five says that, which of the following is not a type of orthographic projection? The answer to that question is option C, which is isometric, okay? Question six says that the figure below shows isometric axis OP, OQ, and OR. What is the value of angle theta? The value of angle theta is 30 degree. Question seven says that the figure below shows the beginning of the construction of a regular polygon. That is option C is the answer to that question. Then move to question eight uh, quickly. Um, so here we have that the plan of the figure above in direction of arrow F is the answer to this question is option B. That is the answer to that question. Then question nine says that which of the following is required to construct the polygon below? So the answer to this question is option B we are to be given length of one side of the polygon. Then we move to question 10, which says that which of the following drawing instrument is used to reproduce shapes? The answer is option, option B, which is template. So we, we use template to reproduce our uh, shapes. Question 11 says that which of the following curves has eccentricity greater than one? The answer is option D, which is this hyperbola. Now, we move to question 12, which says that if the crank, um, okay, so if the crank, okay, in the diagram below, moves anti-clockwise, the link KP will, the answer to this question is option C. So the link KP will slide towards P. Question 13. Which of the following is an example of a fruit tomb? So the example of a fruit tomb is a water bucket. That is option A to that question. Then question 14. Question 14 says that the development, the development of a closed square prism will have, so the answer to that question is option C. So we are going to have four rectangles and two squares four rectangles and two squares. Question 15, if a length of one meter on land is represented by two centimeters on a drawing, what is the ratio of the scale used? The ratio of the scale used is one ratio 50. That is option C. So how do I get that? We have two centimeters divided by one meter and 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. 
So if you divide two by, if you divide, uh, just determine what two over 100 will be, and that will give you one ratio 50 or one over 50. So that's, that's the answer to that question. Question 16 says that, which of the following has eight triangular faces? Octahedron has eight triangular faces. That is option A. That is the answer to that question. Question 17, what type of section is suitable for showing the cross section of a long bar? What type of section is suitable for showing the cross section of a long bar? The answer to that question is revolved section. That is option D. Then we move to question 18, which says that, which of the following is the true shape of the section SS above if the object is spherical? So the answer to this question is option B, ellipse will be produced. When that cutting plane cut that part of the sphere. Question 19 says that a conic section whose eccentricity is four over three is a parabola, I'm sorry, is hyperbola, sorry, hyperbola is the answer. That is option A is the answer to that question. Then move to question, so move to the next question. That is question, um, question 20. If the rectangular tank in figure two above is projected in first angle, the view, the view X in figure one represent the view X in figure one represent it represent. Um, so looking at what we have here, it represent a uh, G H E F or okay. I uh, will just take uh, option A J K. M L J K M L. That means if though we are not sh uh, shown the direction at which the object is being viewed, but I just pick as uh, option A as my answer. J K M L. Question twenty one. So question twenty one says that which of the following polygons has one of its internal angles more than one eighty degree? So the answer is option C. The answer is option C. That is this polygon here is a reentrant uh, polygon. So this angle here, the angle here is more than 180 degree. So move to question 22. Which of the following is a circumscribed circle? So the answer is option B. Then question 23. If a right cone is truncated by a cutting plane, which is perpendicular to its axis. Then the true shape of the cut surface is a, is a circle. So that is option B is the answer to that question. Then we have question 24. The figure below shows a trough. It comprises, it comprises of two, cone, two truncated cones, that is two, two truncated cones and three cylinders. So we have two truncated cones there. This is one cone and this is the second one. Then we have three cylinders, one, two, three. So the answer is option B. Then move to question 25. Which of the following plane figures is not represented in the figure below? The answer is D, rectangle is not represented, is not part of the shapes that are there. Then question 26, the point where a line penetrates a plane is called a trace. So that is option B. So question 27, which of the following is not a type of scale? The answer is option D. There is nothing like parallel scale. So we have plane scale, we have scale of course, and we have diagonal scale. So question 28, the end lamp of a car is constructed by applying the principle of parabola. That is option B. Then we move to question 29 that says that the construction below cannot be used. It cannot be used to determine the midpoint of a line PQ. That is option A is the answer to that question. Then we move to question, question, we move to question um, 30. The figure below, the, the figure above shows a box in orthographic view. 
the correct view in the position in the position P is the answer is option A is the answer to that question. Then we move to uh, the building drawing. So we are going to answer question 31 to 40. So we have answer question one to 30 on geometrical drawing. So which is general questions. So we are going to make use of, we are going to use uh, answer question 31 to 40 right now on building drawing. So question 31 says that the figure below shows part of a section through a roof and wall. The part labeled S is called wall plate. That is option C is called wall plate. Then question 22 and 33, we have to use this diagram to answer question 32 and 33. And here we have that the part label P is the landing. That is option C. The part label P is landing. And then question 33 says that how many flat, how many flights are in the staircase? So the number of flights in the staircase is two. That is option D. Then question 34, which of the following is not a type of door? The answer is option A. There's nothing like raft door. Then question, we have question 35. The material symbol shown below is wood. That is option A for that. Then question 36. In the double casement window shown below, the style is labeled B. The style is labeled B. So that is the answer to that question. B is the answer to that question 36. Question 37. Which of the following is not a member of roof? So the one that is not a member of roof among these options is option B, jam. Then question 38 says that in this staircase shown below, identify the part label X. So the part label X is riser. The part label X is riser. That is option A for question 38. Then question 39 says that soffit is a member of roof. Soffit is a member of roof. That is option B. Then the last question, which is question 40, says that the part label Q in the figure below is called king post. That is option C. So we come to the end of the solution to this question 1 to 40 for 2020, 2008. Uh, 2008 objective questions on technical drawing. Thank you for watching and keep on practicing and may God bless you.